Uh, hi everyone, I'm Dr. Shirley. I'm from Tianjin University. I feel great honored to have this opportunity to share my study with you. My study is titled by discovering inhibitor molecules for pathological crystallization of calcium oxalate kidney stones from natural extracts of medical herbs. Um, it's known that kidney stone is a common disease in our urinary system. Uh, uh, kidney stone has a high prevalence rate and the records uh, and there are many pathological and daily factors that can lead to the formation of stones. Moreover, due to the complex composition of urine, there are many types of stones. Um, among them, more than 8% are calcareous stones. So my research is focused on the treatment of calcium oxalate stones. Mm, to be honest, uh, the primary formation process of uh, students is like a simple uh, crystallization process. Uh, firstly, the supersaturation of the uh, lastenic solute accumulates in urine, and lead, uh, which leads to the form uh, nucleation of crystals. Then crystal growth aggregates and finally form large particles in kidney. Mm, that is to see the primary causes of stone is due to the high supersaturation of urinary lysogenic solute and the deficiency of substance that could inhibit stone formation in our urine. Um, due to the high records reach, uh, a clinical practice guideline point is that more attention should be paid on the prevention of stone formation and they put forward to advise to achieve that. Um, one is to decrease the concentration of the lysogenic factor to suppress the crystallization. Uh, and uh, the other one is to increase the concentration of the stone inhibitors in our urine to retard uh, crystal growth. Um, but uh, at present, there is no drugs to cure students. Therefore, the development of inhibited drugs to change in the composition of the urine and to reduce the formation of students is regarded as an important strategy to solve the stone problem. Um, recently, many researchers have focused on the development of inhibitor drugs, such as ions molecules and some proteins. But uh, currently, only c treat is used as an inhibitor drug in clinic. It's reported that c treat can inhibit the nucleation and the growth of calcium oxalate crystals. But the human drug trials has shown that 35% uh, testers will withdraw the uh, drug trials more than 15% are due to the advice in my event. Um, recently, only a new natural inhibitor has been proposed by Professor Rimmer and his co-workers to inhibit the uh, uh, crystallization of calcium oxalate. Uh, it can also induce crystal dissolution at a supersaturated solution, but uh, the research about this inhibitor is still theoretical. Um, given the uh, high student's records and the so few inhibitor drugs for student treatment, new type inhibitors need to be developed. Um, it's known that Chinese herbs are the special drugs of Chinese traditional um, medicine due to its wide source and passivity. It has already regarded as a library for the development of uh, uh, new drugs. There are also some ancient prescriptions for the treatment of kidney stones in China, but due to the complex composition of herbs, uh, their uh, mechanism for stone treatment is still unknown. Thus, my study tried to discover calcium oxalate inhibitors from these Chinese herbs and explore uh, their inhibition performance on stone formation. First of all, in order to acquire calcium oxalate uh, crystallization inhibitors, we need to find some possible screening principles. Uh, it's reported that there are three forms of calcium oxalate hydrates, but only calm and COD appear in the urine of healthy uh, humans and the patients. 
It's reported that calm is more easily to adhere to the urinary micromolecules and the damaged uh, cell in kidney starts forming large particles in kidney. Well, uh, COD is more easily to excrete it through the urine. Thus, comb is uh, regarded as the primary composition of uh, stress, where COD is a um, benign form of crystals. Uh, thus, we can infer that uh, new inhibitors need to own a major characteristic that is, uh, it can uh, inhibit the nucleation or the growth of a comb or it can promote the nucleation of COD. Mm, therefore, my study firstly discovered the natural inhibitors from uh, Chinese herbs, and then uh, we further explored their uh, inhibition performance for calcium oxalate stone formation. Mm, first of all, we found 720 uh, common recipes of Chinese medicines for the treatment of kidney stones and uh, uh, selected 20 herbs uh, where uh, some have the special effects on kidneys or stones and uh, some are uh, frequent supplementary herbs. Um, in order to increase the uh, successful chance of screening, we established the herbal mixture based on the principle of a cooperative treatment of Chinese medicine. Mm, then we uh, extracted their uh, main compositions from these herbs by ultrasonic extractions. And uh, given the complex composition of these extracts, we divided them into five mixtures with different uh, polarities. Uh, then the inhibitor efficacy of these uh, extracts are evaluated by uh, quantifying their uh, inhibition percentage on calcium oxalate crystallization kinetics. Then the herb uh, extracts displaying high inhibition efficacy were further um, characterized by HPLC. Then the effective components will be identified. Um, uh, uh, there shows some uh, curves of the crystallization kinetics. Mm, from these curves, it's easy to find that the decrease of calcium as concentration uh, consumption indicates the inhibition on calcium oxalate crystallization. Therefore, we use the relative consumption rate to evaluate the inhibition performance of extracts of the active ingredients. Mm, after quantifying the extracts, uh, inhibition percentage. We can find the butanol soluble extracts show uh, has an even better inhibition efficacy than citrate. Well, citrate is already used as an inhibitor drug for treating kidney stones. Uh, by the way, we also, uh, further, we also find the water and the chloroform soluble uh, extracts uh, display the inhibitory uh, effects too, but less effective than butanol soluble extracts and the citrate. Um, in contrast, uh, the acinol and the acyl acid uh, soluble extracts show later inhibition or promotion on the calcium oxalate uh, crystallizations. Um, then based on the similarity solution principle, the possible active ingredients that are already identified in these 20 Chinese herbs from reference are latest in this table. Then we confirm the appearance of uh, effective molecules uh, in uh, water and butanol soluble extracts by comparing their HPLC fingerprints. Mm, the, uh, the HPLC results show that uh, 21 natural molecules are present in the water and butanol soluble extracts, and they are uh, most uh, polyphenols, flavonoids, and some um, amino acids. Mm, in order to evaluate the inhibitory efficacy of these 21 molecules, we developed a high throughput calorie metric screening method. And, and the values of the relative consumption rate uh, indicate that um, 13 out of 21 molecules are inhibitors, and they are mostly uh, polyphenols and amino acids. 
So now that we have uh, found some natural inhibitors from Chinese herbs, and then we begin to explore their action mechanism on crystallization inhibition and the stone formation inhibition. Um, firstly, we uh, explore the specific interaction between the inhibitor and the calcium oxalate crystals. Uh, the crystal shape uh, shapes from the with different inhibitors indicates these inhibitors surprise or alter the crystal growth in the specific uh, directions by bending to the crystal surface. Moreover, the COD uh, was generated in the process of high concentration of bunion soluble extracts. Uh, moreover, by analyzing calm crystal I, uh, arrangement, we have found the inhibitor could inhibit the crystal growth by forming any interaction with calcium ions or forming each bond interaction with oxalate uh, ions on crystal surface. Uh, then the inhibition performance of these inhibitors on calcium oxalate stones formation were further investigated by cell experiment. Compared with the control, uh, the increased cell variability and the increased EPI's concentration ratio and the decreased rust generation ratio, all these uh, results suggest that this discovered natural inhibitor can protect cells against the invasion of supersaturated calcium oxalate solution of the crystals. Moreover, the decreased nucleated crystal number and adhered crystal number on the uh, cell surface uh, also uh, indicates the nucleation inhibition and the anti adhesive ability of these inhibitors. Um, all these uh, uh, results demonstrate the pronounced formation of these natural inhibitors on um, inhibition of a stone formation. Finally, in order to inspire the further screening of the calcium oxalate inhibitor, we explored the structure performance relationship between these, these 21 inhibitor or promoters based on the uh, quantification of their inhibition performance. Uh, from the analysis of bending specificity, uh, we found uh, the uh, modifiers PKA and uh, its H number. H number means the amount of donor hydrogen in inhibitors multi uh, molecular structures. Uh, these two uh, parameters can clarify all the discussed modifiers into different rules. Um, for example, if a modifier uh, its PKA is less than 3.5 and its H number is greater than 0.1 millimolar, uh, it will locate in the room one. It shows uh, this modifier display pronounced inhibition efficacy. Mm, well, if a modifier locates in the room three, it shows it may have ha it may have a weak inhibition performance. Mm. The above is all the details about my study. Uh, in summary, uh, nearly two natural uh, calcium oxalate inhibitors were discovered from uh, 20 Chinese herbs by quantifying their inhibition performance on calcium oxalate crystallization kinetics. Uh, and then uh, uh, the potential natural ingredients of these Chinese herbs in inhibiting uh, stir formation were confirmed by cell experiments. Mm, our funding may provide a uh, a green solution to design or mature uh, manufacture inhibited drugs from natural medical herbs for preventing pathological kidney stones formation. And finally, I want to uh, thank for the financial support from the National Natural Science Foundation of China and uh, very good, grateful for the guidance from Professor Gong and Dr. Tang. Uh, that's all about my uh, study. Thanks for your attention. Thanks.